Hello teachers, how's it going? Uh, welcome to the Let's Make a Class website class, and I'd like to start you off with probably the easiest part. Uh, first, of course, you're going to have to tear yourself away from your favorite web page and your dreams for just a moment, and let's focus on this little bit of reality. I'd like you to go to your class website, or your uh, email, rather, and when you get there, rather than answer all of the email that's there, or open it and sigh deeply, I would instead like you to go up here to this little link called Sites, and I'd like you to click on it. This is how easy it is to make a class website. Now, granted, there are several more things that we can talk about, ways to tweak it and make it better, but the gist of it, it's right here. Click on this button right here. It says Create New Site. Boom. Just like that. Now you've got some options here and I'm going to give you the easiest and later when you're experts you can go and learn this other stuff and you can give me a call and explain it to me because I usually just go with the easiest route. First I click on the blank template right here, nice and blank. Boom. Then I'm going to name the site. Let's see, I'm going to name this one. You know what, name it what you want. Name it with spaces. Leave it in there so that your title looks right. It's just put whatever you want in there. Mrs. Johansson's class, uh, Mr. Bill's social studies. It, everybody teaches something different, but the website's going to have the same basics in there. Give it a name that explains your website. Then choose a theme. Something pretty. Uh, if they had kittens, I would suggest that. But instead, how about glitter? Oh yeah, then go down here and say create site, because that's what you're doing. And then just this easy, booyah, you got a class website. Right up here, see this thing? This is the address. You can copy and paste that and give it to anybody you want, and they can come visit you here. Right now, I'll agree, there's not a lot to see. You don't have your assignments up, you don't have any rubrics up, class expectations, you don't have your homework that's ready to download, but all that stuff is coming later. Right now, you've just built the site, and this is the address you share. And my helpful little tip for the day, if you don't know this already, it's one of those computer tips that make you wonder how you ever did it without it before. When you copy something, you're taking it. Like, for instance, we're going to copy this. You first highlight it and make it all blue, and then, down here at the keyboard, you hit Control-V. I'm sorry, don't do that. Hit Control-C, which means copy. Uh, on a Macintosh where I am, it's Apple or Command-C, just to make things confusing. And if neither of those works for you, you can always go right up here to the Edit and copy, just like that. But I've already copied it. Then you can go anywhere else you want, like if you're visiting TeacherTube here, and you can highlight this and hit Control-V, which pastes or lays down whatever you copied a minute ago. That's why people don't spend all day typing in all the little address parts. Uh, they copy and paste it from another place. So, back to the site. You've got a site. You know how to copy and paste your address to share it with parents and emails. And that's all you need for now. That's lesson one. And you made a website. But don't go yet, because there's a lot more to do. Thanks. Bye.